but still good, all right. Well, they're popping up everywhere in South Florida, but there are so many now, they're just not selling. Now, as we continue Real Estate Week, we take a look at the condo market and what one local company is doing to help you buy one on the cheap. CBS4 Consumer Investigator Al Sunshine has more on how you can get more for less. <laughs> construction still fills the skyline. Huge cranes, huge towers, huge developments reshaping the landscape daily. But look a little closer and you'll see it's not business as usual. Prices have dropped like rocks in some developments as more and more buyers feel the effects of overextending their budget and making it even worse Florida now has the second highest foreclosure rate in the country, with more than 90,000 foreclosures filed since January, and more than 10,000 here in Miami-Dade alone. So what happened to South Florida's booming condo market? Well, real estate analysts tell me the answer is really quite simple. Too much supply. The condo market was basically overbuilt, and not enough demand, not enough qualified buyers. This South Beach condo listed last year at $500,000. Realtor John Patrick says the strongly motivated seller has now dropped his price by $50,000. This particular property, this gorgeous apartment at Ocean Place, has been on the market for over a year, and we haven't gotten one offer on it. Patrick's plan B, more price cuts. This is what we call our vulture database. Meet Peter Zalusi. His new business, CondoVultures.com, is booming. He's been tracking the local condo bust for about a year now. It's a bloodbath. It's absolutely terrible. Those sellers are, are, are willing. They're going out of their way to try to dump that product. Now is an ideal time. If you're looking for the lowest possible price but possibly overlooking the dumpster or a low unit, and, and I joke about this, you probably want to ride it out a little bit more because right now the vultures that are circling are looking for quality at a discount. Okay, what kind of deals are out there? Well, how about some banks willing to sell foreclosed condos for just 60 cents on the dollar? So desperate they're willing to take significant losses. Hey, how about a $3.9 million Aventura condo closing out for under half a million dollars? $3.9 million. Now, it doesn't mean the realtor didn't make a mistake at some point, but there's actual document. $3.9 million. What's it going for today? Four seven nine nine hundred. How much of a price drop? Eighty-eight percent. That's why we're now seeing so many condo markdowns and closeouts. Some insiders say South Florida's condo market could remain overbuilt for possibly the next two to three years, and that means the closeout deals for buyers could get even better. I'm Al Sunshine, CBS 4 News tonight.